Hello and welcome everyone in another episode of Let's Try. We are playing the Slormancer. So the patch just dropped for the prison update. So let's hop in. Uh, I want to check out some stuff. So first... Uh, yeah, we got this. Content with the early stage. Let's see. Uh, there was something about the loot filter with the blacksmith here. Yes, so let's see here. Uh, blacksmith filter equipment. This tab allows you to hide transform pieces of equipment lying on the ground that you no longer consider relevant to you. Okay, uh, hide normal items unless they have a pure stat or they have highlighted. No, I don't need those. Uh, Reinforce level above 5 and hide. Wait, uh, unless it has pure stat, this goes the 5. Uh, this will show it will hide normal items. Hmm, okay. So what do we want to do? Automatically converts filtered items to fragments. Uh, no, the gold. I want this to gold, and unless it has a pure stat or above five, and this will be a five or pure. This will be also gold, and this will be to fragments, I guess, or maybe gold as well. Unless it's this, uh, gold, gold, uh, this can stay, and here, uh, this will be to nothing, or this will be converted to fragment, unless the reinforcement is above 5, uh, it has highlighted, or is it pure, so... We don't need highlighted. Okay, so you can set up each one. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So the first one for the normals, we will get for no, we want gold. Wait, it gives me gold for everything. Uh, ah, this sucks. Wait, you can set up everything. Filtered items to gold, I guess. Yeah, we're gonna get gold, and this we will farm <sighs> other way around. So the gold, unless it's pure stat, highlighted stat, or has a reinforcement level above. No, it doesn't need reinforcement. It's highlighted or pure stat. So the gold, uh, this will be one. Uh, okay, it's set up. Nothing new here, nothing new here, okay, let's see here, so we can, oh, uh, it shows the level, okay, purity, I don't know what's that, uh, this is okay, you can see easily, yes, and reinforcement, okay, that can be okay, so, at this stage, at this stage, hmm, uh, filter. Wait, if I go away from him and open this, oh, it automatically opens the guy. Okay, okay, that's interesting. Also, uh, we are gonna check quickly the Olorin NPC for the Slorm Temple, but today I'm not gonna go into the Slorm Temple because that will probably take some time. And we will continue with the story because we wanna uh, unlock those things here, right? And there's some new ones, I believe. Seems like. Uh, hey. I'm not sure if those were here before, but yeah, I'm gonna check over them later on. So let's go. Uh, Wait, oh, okay, I have, <laughs> I had some 
other swarm spam, uh, pure swarm spam, and you got it back, obviously. Uh, Juicy swarm upgrade ultimatum. We don't have any ultimatums. Uh, this still works the same. Okay, we need to find them. So let's go temple. Defense damage. Reduce the damage dealt by two to various defense soldier will increase the time you have increase the time. Okay, uh I think we can go with this, right? And get like all of them? Yeah, let's spend everything. So that's 50. Uh, this is a little bit more expensive, but let's end it to like 20. The buffs are no longer here, as you can see. And yeah, they basically remove the buffs so to like uh, go over and over. And now instead you can do the one floor over and over. So you don't need to start from the scratch and such. So that's, that's much, much better. So, pierce the chance. Let's go with this, maybe for like... Third... 25? And maybe this as well for like... 25. And then... Older Slurm... Capacity, so... 30... 40? Can I get 40? I got over 40. Whatever. Uh, you know what? Let's spend it here. So we are 45. And we can spend one here. So... Yeah, I guess. Okay. So we spent some stuff. Now we can have 87,000. Wow, that's crazy. Okay. Uh, yeah, that covers this thing. I don't know... Oh, it shows the quest there. So, for the recap, uh, with the story, uh, we always played with the mage, so we are gonna continue with the mage. Uh, it ended uh, with the story that we went to the... What was it? Uh, to the tomb of the mech ripped and we were supposed to find something there but there was boss instead and we got the uh ancestral legacy stone from there and they said there's like a contact inside of the prison so we are supposed to go there so let's see uh skeletons okay we're gonna continue as you can see our weapon is high level and we actually can level 10 times because the max level is 50 now. So let's enter the prison. Going to the prison. First part. And I wanted to match my level. So that's convenient here. And let's start. We will see what evades us. Oh yes, look at the liberty of coming with you. I could give you a couple of tips. Things have changed a lot in prison since Errol. Oh my god, the prisoners. Guards, they all turn into these weird monsters and no one in their cell and no one is in their cell anymore. They're looking for the inmate name. Huh? Grotagrom. Grotagrom? If I remember correctly, Grotagrom is locked up in the deepest part of the prison in the dungeon. I would start there if I were you. You will have to go through the whole prison. Good luck. Yes, of course. So yeah, we I believe we are pretty overpowered for this, so even though we are scaling it with our level. So let's see here. Yeah, this will be... I believe rather easy, right? I don't think there is anything special to be found, to be honest. So... Yeah, we're just gonna cruise through... Wait, why is this show? Why is this showing up? Uh, if I do this and look at this, it needs to be five or higher. 
Oh, it will be converted. Oh, that does it mean? Wait, I picked it up. And how does this work? Hide normal items. Uh, automatically convert filtered items to gold. So if I do this, wait, zero. Uh, unless it's this, unless it's this, uh, unless it's this. And then this will be converted to the gold as well. Uh, if okay, so let's see here. So this is like this, and. Wait, how does... I'm, I'm confused. I'm really confused here. So it should... Automatically con convert filtered items. But how do you filter items? Uh... Item the purest hat. Wait a minute. How the heck do you work with this? Ah, uh, this. Ah. Uh, I guess I will need to play with the loot filter later on a bit to figure it out properly. Because this is annoying. Like, why is it showing the items? They're supposed to be converted to the gold. Unless there is those special requirements. So I don't get it, like, why? Mm. Damn. I thought it would be easier to set up, but seems like that's not the case. Oh well. Oh well. Yep. Yep. Let's pick up everything here. Nice. Uh, I don't know what we are looking for. But even if they scale with us, that seems rather easy to be honest. And nice. Yeah, the, the load filter is... Uh... Uh, what? Why, why, why is it not working? That's what pisses me off. Should it should. I don't think I did anything wrong there. It seems like uh, setting it up is a hassle for now until we figure it out uh, how it works properly. Oh wow, so many crates here. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay, I guess this is the last room, right? Uh, 
and head home. So I guess that was our first zone here. Okay guys, so that was it. We did one mission. Uh, we looked for the look, look fil uh, loot filter, how it looks like. And for the Sloan Temple, we got the upgrades and after we get at least the one ancestor of stone, maybe it will be after the whole act, then I will probably go into the temple, I will see. So yeah, I will need to play with the loot filter a bit because I set up stuff properly, but I don't think it works how I think it should. I'm not sure, so I need to look like how it works, figure it out, and then that's it, I guess. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next episode.